Hello, everybody. The History Guy here. Well, I was just intrigued enough with uh, playing through that little bit of a first look at uh, Mountain Blade Warband's Napoleonic uh, mod that I wanted to get into a campaign, uh, a playthrough on this mod uh, for that game, which is Ligel. I guess I'm pronouncing that. I apologize to any of my French-speaking followers out there if I'm not doing that. But basically, you are thrust into the world of Napoleon around 1809, kind of at the height of his power uh, before the disastrous invasion of Russia. I believe this is the time in which he's down dealing with the situation in the Iberian Peninsula. So uh, that's where we are, and that's the world we're going into. And honestly, I have no idea how this is going to go. I haven't really played this mod, but I have you know a, a pretty good understanding of the game in general, how it functions, how it operates. So we're going to start by creating our character. And a lot of this first episode is just going to be kind of getting into it and getting our feet wet and getting started. Uh, the year is 1809, and the Corsican-born Napoleon Bonaparte sits on the throne of the French Empire. Napoleon's reign as ruler of France has been a period of almost perpetual war with some nation or the other. And indeed, France now finds itself engulfed by bitter fighting in the Iberian Peninsula. Recognizing an opportunity to reclaim land and the status it lost in previous wars, Austria though it has sent no official declaration of war, launched armies at French's, France's allies in Bavaria, Italy, and Poland. With Napoleon in Paris, command of the French forces in Bavaria has fallen on the shoulders of Marshal Berthier, Napoleon's chief of staff. Meanwhile, an alliance of Spain, Portugal, and Britain tries desperately to check France's advance into Portugal and southern Spain. All right, uh, we will go with mail. Now these... Choices that we're making on the background kind of determine our starting figures, our starting uh, stats. This is part RPG, part kind of shoot, uh, first person or third person shooter. Uh, we're going to go with the son of a soldier. As a child, your army scrabbled out a meager living from your father's wages as a sergeant in the army. It was not an easy existence and you were too poor to get much of an education. Your father could teach you a few things besides fighting. You start to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as... Um, I actually want to get a little bit of... Uh, I think this will give me some maybe intelligence and charisma. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, as a boy growing out of childhood, you were sent to learn in a religious school. There, you learned not only religion, but of classic languages, of art, and some basic sciences. The priests were not kind and did not encourage socializing between the students. But in you, they instilled a strong sense of morality and a fear of God. Then, as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became a university student, I think we'll go with. Though the distinction fell sudden to you, uh, somewhere along the way, you had become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. You found yourself as a student in the university of one of the great cities of Europe, where you studied physics, mathematics, philosophy, and medicine. You buried yourself in the books and excelled in every subject, though at the cost of much of a social life. So this may be hurting my charisma. Uh, by the time you graduated, you could calculate the trajectory of a projectile as easily as you could set a broken limb or debate the merits of poetry. Uh, I'm kind of a... All around, jack of all trades. You had pick, your pick of careers. Nothing seemed beyond your ability. But soon, everything changed when you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was um, the loss of a loved one. Only you can know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. All you can say is that you couldn't bear to stay, not with the memories of those you loved so close and so painful. Perhaps your new life will let you forget... Or honor the name that you can no longer bear to speak. All right, let's do this. Uh, no, you can allow me to quit without saving. All right, I am history guy. I don't know what nationality I'm going to be yet, so I probably shouldn't say that with a French accent. Uh, all right, so we're going to pick some of our starting stats, and you can see what each one of these things are, but I'm actually going to go here first. Um, I think I'm going to put them all into intelligence. I'm not too worried about agility. Um, because I'm not going to worry too much about riding horse. I want to mainly be able to shoot well. Uh, so musketry's at 100. Pistol's not so good. I'm actually going to raise pistols a little bit just in case. Uh, all right, so let's take a look here. Uh, I've got two in leadership. I want at least one in prisoner management so I can get some prisoners and, 
and be able to ransom them. Uh, let's take a look at some of these other things. Tracking, yeah, we'll put one there. Starting battle advantage, yeah, that'll be helpful. Um, pathfinding a little bit, spotting too. Uh, I've got wound treatment and surgery a little bit there. Inventory management, there's a lot of things I want to do here. Uh, where's the one that allows me to get more money for when I trade? Maybe it's under looting. Increases the amount of loot. We'll do that. And then trade, we'll put one. All right, I think we're all set. Let's do it. Ah, oh, got a nice Napoleonic look going on there. That's pretty sweet. I'm not going to mess around with this part too much. Kind of like the big mustache look. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's mess with the hair just a little bit. Yeah, grow that out a little bit. Yeah, there, now we're talking. Um, I'm going to make my hair darker to kind of go along with me. You know, honestly, I think since this is the starting thing, I want to at least make him look a little different, but I'm not particularly concerned about that. So I'm just trying to kind of give him a little varied look. All right, I think that'll do the trick. Let's do this. All right, whether seeking adventures or driving for, uh, driven from your home by war, you find yourself traveling Europe. Whatever your reasons, you find yourself weary from the road and decide to stop and look for a tavern inn. We're going to go to Berlin, the capital of the Kingdom of Prussia. I want to be on the mainland, make it a little easier. Otherwise, I probably would have chosen London. Uh, as you came into Berlin, you had a good view of the remnants of the remnants of the old fortress city. On the way to your destination, you pass through the world-famous boulevard of Unter den Linden. Uh, there you were awed the magnificence of the old Sieghaus. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. The majesty of the state opera and finally the simple state lines of the Brandenburg Gate. Though you couldn't help but feel the gate looked bald without the famous quadriga. All right, you are exhausted by the time you find an inn in Berlin. Uh, this is Prussen, uh, which is Prussia. Uh, as you stumble sleepily toward the stairs to the bedroom floor, you pass by the bar and bump into a man. He's drunk and well-dressed and was about to put back another drink before you spilled it all over him. This is not going to end well. I feel like this is like an Alexander Hamilton situation in the making. You've spilled my drink, you rat. What have you to say for yourself? I'd say I spared you further embarrassment, you tosspot. <laughs> Oh, man, this is going bad fast. You blackguard, you rat, you dog, you'll pay for this. You will, and I'll guarantee that. I'll have satisfaction by God. I knew this was going to end up in a duel. Find yourself a second and meet me outside town tomorrow morning. My second will retrieve, re retrieve you shortly after dawn. Remember, he'll be under orders to pop you if he sees the authorities. A man in a black coat who'd been standing in the shadows watching the events unfold, stepped toward you, and he offers his services as your second. You had little choice but to accept. He introduces himself as Liebknecht, and he said he could provide you with the necessary weapons. You went to your room, this time without ruining any drinks, and attempted to sleep. Nervousness about the morning, however, kept you awake for most of the night. Shortly after dawn, Liebknecht and uh, the other man's second arrive and took you to the meeting place. All right. Your opponent has left it up to you to choose the manner of your duel. Will it be pistols or swords? Pistols it is. I got a sweet hat now. Um, oh, so that's a leave next. Okay, so he's indifferent toward me at the moment. Very well, pistols it is. Stand your ground and hold your fire until I give the command. If no one is hit, we'll reload and try again. Remember to keep a steady hand. All right. Wait, this is already going down? What do you mean reload and try again? I didn't fire the first time. Die, dude. Oh, owned. I suppose that's the last frivolous duel he'll be fighting, the fool. I must congratulate you on your victory. Perhaps you should go get some rest now. You've earned it. Thank you. Victorious in your duel, you returned to your inn and attempted to get some rest, putting the whole unfortunate matter behind you. When you awoke a few hours later, the duel seemed a distant memory, and you had nearly pushed it from your mind when a knock came suddenly at your door. It's leave next again. Greetings, I trust you've rested well. I don't suppose you're really here to ask that. Straight to the point, aren't you? Yes, sir. Anyway, I didn't come here to make small talk. No, I'm here to come clean with you. All right. I wasn't merely a tavern drunk that nobly offered his services. Truthfully, I am a customs inspector, and I've been following the man you've dueled for weeks. 
He's involved with a group of violent smugglers we've been trying to track down for months. I'd been intending to arrest him, but when you bumped into him, I figured his death in a duel would accomplish the same thing, only without all the paperwork. You scoundrel using me in that way. What's your meaning telling me all this? Well, you've proved yourself a useful sort, and we need all the good men we can get. Now it's dangerous work, but it puts a little coin in your pocket. Danger? Money? Presumably women? Where do I sign up? Haha, and I was like, what I like to hear. Our main, main impediment to eradicating these smugglers is our present difficulty in uncovering the location of their hiding place. All right, so I guess that's what we're after here. Um, gather some local men if you have to and look for them on the roads around town. I'll be here waiting for your report. So we've got to find these guys. They have as many spies as we do, and they'll know us well as we know them. They won't recognize you. Okay. So we've got to look for the smuggler's den. All right. So to join a faction, seek out recruiters in capital cities, or if a faction does not possess its capital, military depots. Military depots also house regimental liaisons who perform a number of important tasks. Additionally, military items can be purchased from the depot menu. Items can now be looted in battles by holding them. After the last many enemies are dispatched, wait until you are told the items have been added to your inventory. All right. So we got to go um, stop in a couple of these local towns and gather up some troops. And I think those were the smugglers right there. All right. Three men volunteer to follow you. Only half can ride a horse. And we're going to recruit them as line infantry. Eberswald. Uh, so this is all part of the kingdom of Prussia. Populace is different to you, indifferent to you. All right, so there's some highwaymen, and I think there's our smugglers right there. But I want to get a few more troops first. I don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them one-on-one. -on -one. I want to have a few more men than they have. No one willing to join. Okay, awesome. That didn't work out so well. All right, so maybe we'll do this, and we'll go after them and just hope that four-on-four -four is enough to get it done. All right. Say, you look like a sly one. I've got top-quality goods you can't get in stores. If you surrender your weapons and tell me the location of your den, I'll let the lot of you live. Let's see how well you can bully with a knife in your gullet. You've encountered duffers. They have four troops fit for battle against their four. All right. Let's do it. My first combat. Four on four. All right, guys. Let's hang tight. Stand your ground right here. Uh, i got to get familiar with the uh, controls one more time here. Uh, use weapons at will. I actually want to do, let's see, double rank formation. And I have a pistol. Uh, I was kind of hoping I'd have a, a musket, but I guess not. All right, got to wait for these guys to get close. So I'm going to kind of drop out and come back in when the battle's ready to commence. All right, here they come. I think they're a little far off for me to shoot with a pistol right now. So I'm going to have to wait until they get closer. Come on, boys. Get her done. I'm going to wait till this guy gets right up on me and I'm going to fire on him. Hopefully I have a sword. And I totally missed. Of course. Get him with the bayonets, boys. Oh, not so good. Not so good. I missed again. Oh my gosh, what the heck. And one of my guys was just killed. That is not good. Alright, I need to run for dear life. Come on, guys. Take this guy out before I die. There we go. Nice. Ah, I couldn't get a shot off. Is there still one more out there? I think there is. Yeah, oh, he's got a butchering knife. I'll take that for now. I really want... There we go. That's what I want. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Where's he at? Is he over here? I don't see him. Oh, I'm not carrying any cartridges. Yeah, so that doesn't do me a lot of good, does it? Alright, let's charge these guys, because I don't know where they are. Go! 
He's over this way somewhere. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. I just saw the smoke from his gun. Oh. I just wanted to check and see if I was reloaded, and I ended up firing instead. Yeah, it'll take me a little while to get the hang of this. Maybe I should, uh, oh yeah, there, we'll pull out this knife. That's probably better than a pistol anyway. Come on, guys, are you following me? Or Come on! Follow me, come on, guys. Uh, I guess they're going to make me do this on my own. You're really not going to get him from all the way back there. Are they coming? They're not coming. Am I too far away? Maybe they just can't hear my orders. Alright, I'll go deal with this guy myself. If I can find him. I just got to wait for his smoke to fire again. There he is. Okay. Hello, sir. I should probably wait until he gets one more shot off before I get too close. Or maybe I'll just hope he shoots at the other guys. No. Nah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's going to fire at them. A poor move, sir. Yeah! Way to not pay attention to me. Musket cartridges, yes. Alright, we won. I lost one of my boys, but the other ones are still alive. Don't kill me, sir. I swear I ain't so bad. I just fell in with a bad lot. I'll do whatever you want. Tell me where your people are. Alright. Learned the location of the smuggler's den. In the meantime, ooh, we gathered up some pistols. There's got to be a way to, to take all this stuff, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. So for now, I'm just going to drag it all over. If somebody knows that, go ahead and let me know. Well, we'll take these and we'll at least sell them. Why was the guy just randomly carrying stones in a club? All right. All right, we got some money. We got some francs. Not enough, I don't think, to upgrade yet. All right, see if we can come over here and maybe gather up some, some more troops. No, we gotta go to a, we we'll gotta go to a village. Oh, we gotta cross the river first. The bridge is all the way down at Frankfurt. Give me some. What the heck? Why will no one join me? Let's go to Potsdam. See if we we'll recruit anybody there, and then we'll go try to find these guys later. No one wants to join my party. All right, let me look at the quests real quick. Do I not have any notes about where they are? Should I not have that? Learn the location of the smuggler's den. I'm not seeing it on the map. If it's not going to tell me, I'm not entirely sure what I need to do here. Let me drop out for a second. All right, so I think it was just my quest to actually find the smuggler's den, not go after it. So I guess I'm just going back into Berlin uh, to go ahead and... Okay, I got two. I don't have enough men. Oh, great. Uh, let's go to the marketplace and sell some of the stuff that I just gathered up. All right, so... We'll start with, how's my pistol compared to what these guys have? Damage 60p. Uh, so it's the same. It's actually a little more accurate, though, than the one that I have. So we're going to take that instead. I'm going to sell these other ones, get some francs. I think we'll sell this club. The Book of Five Rings. All right, we're going to sell that bad boy. Although, well... Ooh, some of these are actually a lot better weapons. Well, that's expensive. I'm not buying that anytime soon. We can get some of these things, though. All right, so that's what we'll do. But 
this is what I want is I want a, a rifle of some kind. All right, so right now I'm going to receive 300 francs, which is going to really be huge for me. Is there anything else I can buy? No, nah, not really. Uh, let me make sure I have the right kind of cartridges for this. I don't really need bent musket cartridges. A large bag of musket cartridges. I don't have quite enough for that. Well, 25 of them are 409. That's kind of expensive. I've already got 25, so I think I'll be good for now. All right, we're good. Uh, we're going to take that and go with it. Got some money now. That helps a lot. Now, uh, we got to go to the tavern. It's a fancy looking tavern. There's the guy I'm looking for. My spies are reported on your success. Excellent work. I'd say you've earned a few coins. I got 15 francs. Now that we know where those bastards are hiding, I'll gather my officers and runners together for an attack. Let me know when you're ready to join us, and don't bother me until then. Hurry, though. They'll surely notice some of their men are missing before too long. All right, dude. Let's get it done. Let's go. Following the directions of the Greenhorn Smuggler, you and a small force of customs officers march toward the smuggler's den. As you approach, you hear the distinctive report of gunfire. Well, yeah, we kind of expected that. However, for some reason, I'm not armed with my weapon. Where are all my weapons? Oh, I didn't, uh, didn't equip them before we got into this fight. So I just, I'm going with this, I guess. Let's go after these guys. They've got the high ground, not cool. Follow me, let's go. Come on, guys. Oh, they're reloading. Up the hill we go. Come on, boys. You're not gonna do very well from down there. How many of them are there? It looks like there's just a couple. Follow me. Hello, anyone? Anyone? Follow me. No? Maybe it's because they're not my men. They won't follow my orders. Hey, we took one of them out. Nice. And I missed. That's right. They got two of them. There's just the guy with the club left. You're mine, sir. Maybe. Whoa. Oh, hey. Hello. Oh, come on. Let me get him. Let me get him. Don't, don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. He's just going to stand there and stare at us. Oh, yes. Although I don't feel too great about that just because the guy didn't really try to fight back. Give me that hunting musket. Thank you. I still don't have any musket cartridges. All right, where are the rest of them? Oh, down here in the camp? Oh, yeah, there are some more down there. Wish I could shoot at them from up here. Hey guys, maybe you consider not standing down in the valley while people are shooting at us from up above. Charge. You gonna follow me this time, guys? Alright, cool. I guess maybe I've gotta be close enough to them to do this. There they are. Let's get them. I always feel like I'm Leroy Jenkins. I'm running by myself. Waiting for people to follow me. I love this guy that's like randomly standing up on the rock. And I love the fact that they pay no attention whatsoever to the person sneaking up behind them. So maybe I'll just kind of walk right up here. After I reload. Hello. Goodbye. Don't shoot me, guys. I'm kind of behind them. 
I love how accurate the pistols are at this time in history. And I love how they don't care I'm behind them. I gotta be careful here because I'm gonna get hit by my own men. Can't miss from here, right? Oh, he didn't like that. No, don't shoot at me. No. I'm gonna reload before you do. And your friend doesn't care I'm standing here. Oh, he's got a hatchet. That's not okay. Oh, now you're gonna pay attention. Oh, dude! He took me out! Not okay! The last thing you recall was lying face down in the dirt, bleeding from your wounds. You awoke once again in your room, bandaged and barely alive. You thought you should check the tavern to see if anyone else survived. Ugh. That was not okay. Alright, did we get it done? That was a nasty wound you received. Still, we persevered without you. Now... Your help in locating the den, you'll get a part of the bounty the smugglers commanded, but understand that because you weren't a whole lot of help in the fight... Oh, come on. You're an odd man, though perhaps not an un entirely unamusing one. Alright. So what did I get? I've still got my francs. I've got to uh, arm myself a little better this time. There we go. Is there anything else? Nope. Okay, cool. Alright, so now we got to kind of decide where we want to go next. Uh, let's see if we can enlist any more volunteers. Awesome. How many do I have now? Do I still have my other men is the question. Uh, I guess I do. I've got five now. Alright, we'll explore just a little bit longer and then I think we'll probably call this a day. It's been a good start. Um, just kind of look at character... Next level's at 600, so I'm getting closer to being able to level up. I think now that I've got more money, I ought to be able to level up my recruit who is trained. So, Grenadier, Musketeer. Uh, we're going to go Musketeer. Awesome. So, now he's a little bit more soldierly looking. And then we can level him up some more if we go a little further. So, Musketeers, uh, it's going to divide them into different groups, I guess. So, all right, there we go. Let's see if we can't level up to level two my character here. We're going to roam around the countryside just a little bit, looking for some trouble to get into. I probably will move faster once I have horses. Ooh, there's a nice big army under uh, King Friedrich Wilhelm III. 670 men. That kind of gives you a view of what we may be looking at down the road as this game progresses and I start to take some leadership of some larger no nah, we're good who are these guys now nah, I want to find some bad guys maybe we'll roam over here toward Bavaria and then France Let's zoom out a little bit here you can see I believe this is probably an area that's ruled by France can I cross here? I guess it's going to let me cross here. Very slowly. Who are these guys? Village farmers. Alright, the village of Magdeburg appears to be somewhat poor and struggling. Uh, oh no, they're still under the Germans. So, uh, Let's get two more line infantry. Now let's go light infantry with these guys. I want to kind of get a feel for what the different ones do. There's seven of us now. We need to get into some trouble. What's this? Village farmers. I mean, we could attack them, but I don't want to be that guy. I want to look for some highwaymen or something. Let's stop in Leipzig for a minute. All right, there we go. Deserters. All right, but they're, they're the deserters, which means they're good troops, so I don't know. Ooh, decisions, decisions. Let me think about that for a minute. Okay, let's do it. Let's go after these deserters. I think we can take them out. All right. We are the Free Brothers. We will fight only for ourselves from now on. Now give us your gold or taste our steel. When I'm done with you, you'll regret ever leaving your army. All right, let's take the field.
All right. It's raining. Follow me, boys. We need to get get close, close the distance, and uh, just hopefully outshoot them. I'm gonna go up for this high ground over here if I can. I don't know how far away he is, but hopefully these boys will follow me and won't start shooting at them. Because I think once they get in range where they start shooting, they kind of just don't listen to orders very well. They just shoot it out. So we're gonna try to get up on this hill. All right, we're starting to get up the hill and we have engaged the enemy. They're starting to shoot back. Let's get the high ground. Sounds like somebody got hit already. Wish I could go into this building. Does not appear to be a possibility. I wonder if I kick it. Can I kick it? No. Come on, open. Open up. In the name of the King of Prussia, who I don't really represent. Can't really see where those shots are landing, so I guess I just got to be careful here. I've noticed if you're at any point in the reloading process and you move, it stops the whole thing and you have to start over again. So this may take a little while to start taking out some of his guys. Just hope I don't get hit. Oh, yeah, they're getting kind of close. I'm going to need to stay in the back for a little bit. It's probably going to take a while to take out a few of his men. Right, I'm going to I'm going to crouch, I think. There we go. Make myself a little smaller target. Ooh, that one actually landed really close to him. Come on, hit somebody. All right, this may go for a while, so I'll drop in and out as things happen. All right, I'm going to come over here with the rest of my boys and see if I have better luck shooting at them from here. Oh, somebody just got hit. Nobody went down, though. Dang, it's just really hard to hit people from this far. Oh, man. I didn't even fire that one very well. A lot of smoke, a lot of shots, nobody getting hit. I need to get up there with my sword and just have at it. Oh, we took one out. Nice. That's a little better. That one was kind of close. If I can take out a couple more, we can even the odds, and I'll, we'll get down there and we'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Oh, I feel like I'm getting close, but I'm just not having any luck. All right, let's, let's move this up. Follow me, boys. I guess once I get more experience, better equipped troops, this won't be such an arduous process. Oh, that one landed way in front. I'm going to just stand behind this skinny little tree right here. Alright, go at them, guys. Let's go. Go, go, go. Maybe, maybe not. They don't listen to orders very well, do they? Oh, just lost one of my guys. All 
All right, come on, guys. Let's do this. I think it's six on ten now. We can't keep just shooting it out with them. Oh, still landing in front. And they're not following me. What the heck? What's the point in issuing orders? Is there something I'm missing? Hopefully nobody's shooting at me. As long as they're occupied with my guys, maybe I can get lucky here. Wow, that's landing way in front. Alright, we took out another one, though. Alright. It's time to do this the old-fashioned way. I wonder how close I can get before somebody shoots at me with his rifle. Maybe I can get a couple of them with my sword. Pay no attention to the man running behind you with a sword. No attention whatsoever. And I completely missed, and now he's going to get me with his bayonet. Yes! Now, where was I? Don't, no, don't shoot at me! There's one guy that's paying attention to me. But I'm between him and his own man, so hopefully that'll help. No, no, no. All right, I see you coming. Leave me alone. Come on. He parried me with his rifle. Yeah! Go down. Level two. All right, now my boys are getting into it. Good times. What kind of guns do they have? No, I don't want to equip that. I definitely need to get healed. I'm not sure how this is going for my guys right now because I can't get there any faster. Oh, all I know is the last couple that went down were not mine. Am I going to be the last man standing in this thing? It looks like it might be the case. Oh, come on. Oh, that's my guy. Okay. Yep. I got to be careful not to hit my guy. Yep, last man standing, I think. Wow, that was brutal. We took out, we killed all 11 of them. Uh, looks like I lost four killed, two wounded. So I, I have very little of an army left, but at least I come out of this a little richer and a lot more stuff. So, and I have some experience and. I'm going to wear this army coat now because it's a little better. No, actually the shirt was better in body armor than that. just doesn't look as cool. But I'm going to wear this sweet hat. Alright, so I think we'll wrap up right there. After we uh, just gather up all this stuff. I know there's got to be an easier way to just take all this stuff. I'll have to look that up. Uh, I'll go sell all this stuff for a nice little profit. And, wow, uh, let's see. Character screen. All right, I get to level up now. Whew. Um, One-handed weapons, maybe a little bit. Pistols, a little bit. Okay, and then we've got two skill points to spend. 
leadership is already pretty good. Um, weapon master increases my proficiency limits. I don't think I'm quite to where I need that yet. All right, so this is actually good, allowing a person to be wounded rather than killed. And attribute points. We're going to go... What's agility give me? Um, yeah, it's not really a huge deal, I don't think, but we'll at least get a little bit more there. All right. I think we're good there for now. I said, oh, I got another skill point because I went up in intelligence. First aid, perfect. And more weapon points now. All right, that's a good place to stop. So let me know what you think. Um, if you're more familiar with this uh, mod than I am and you can give me some helpful hints, that'll be most welcome. Uh, I won't visit this series real often, maybe one or two videos a week at most, unless there seems like there's a lot of demand for more. I realize this isn't for everybody. Um, I'll stick with the stuff that I'm more regular with, but I will visit this one occasionally. So let me know what you think. Use that comment section below. Uh, hit thumbs up if you do want to see more. And uh, we will see you again next time, guys. Thanks for watching.